हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक विथ नवीन दिस इज़ आवर फर्स्ट वीडियो इन आवर चैनल एंड आई वाज जस्ट थिंकिंग ऑन व्हाट टॉपिक आई शुड बी पुटिंग माय फर्स्ट वीडियो आई गॉट वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड हु केम एंड आस्क मी हे हाउ डू यू ट्रैक अ क्वेरी व्हिच इज गेटिंग टाइम्ड आउट इन सीक्वल सर्वर एंड आई थॉट लाइक वाई डोंट आई मेक अ वीडियो आउट ऑफ दैट सेम टॉपिक इट so yes in this video we are going to see how you could track a query which is getting timed out in sql server so let's see it in action how you could do it to simulate this i'm just going to call couple of scripts and uh, we'll be seeing how that can be tracked so we have uh, different options using which this can be done so we'll be seeing how it can be done with a uh, profiler and extend events in this video and uh, you could also do this with query store maybe we'll cover that in a different video okay so i'll just call one of my script to show you like what we are going to do so it is just like you can think this query is some sort of a reporting thing which is being done at the application level where we are pulling some data from the back end database so it just returns three rows it is a very simple select statement which is getting executed at the back end and in order to simulate a timeout so i'll be calling my another script which will be doing some sort of uh insert activity or update activities on my table okay so let's let me call my other batch so then we will go ahead and see how this can be tracked okay so this is my another batch file which i have so we will be uh, using sql server profiler to capture this timeout which will be simulating now so i'll start this batch and yeah it is in progress so let's go ahead and uh, start the profiler which i have already configured and uh, let's see how it goes so i just started my same app.bat batch and if you see this time it's not returning any data till now and it is still in progress and got a time out okay so you can think of like in real time uh, this is what happens so your application will be configured with a specific time out value and uh, if it is not i mean uh, getting the results within the specific time period it's going to time out so now uh, let's see how we can know like what query got failed because in real time uh, what will happen is there will be whole bunch of different queries which gets called from the application and uh, you have to find out that specific query which is getting failed so either it could be a performance issue on that query so the reasons could be uh, there could be different reasons for which a query can get timed out that is completely a different discussion discussion so in this video it's it's just going to be like how you could track it how you can identify first what is the query which is getting failed so let's go back to our profiler okay so in order to track the query which is getting uh, timed out so we have to have the profiler enabled with attention okay which i have so i'll quickly show you like probably first let me pause my profiler and i'll quickly show you like what events i have selected just for this demo purpose so i have selected attention this is one key thing and uh, i have just selected this uh, sql batch and sql statement completed along with that okay now if i look at this attention i can see my speed uh, 64 it got an attention on that speed so if i go up i have one of my select statement which got aborted and it ran for like 10 seconds 10 seconds is the time out which i have manually set and from the text data i can get the actual t sql which was getting called from my uh, batch 
so in your case like in real time you would be seeing the actual query which is getting called from the application and you should be looking for this status attention event and this error status in your profiler trace so this is one way okay now let's simulate the same and uh, we'll see how this can be captured in a external event okay so i have a external event created uh, I am not sure if it is created. Let's quickly check. If not, we'll create one. Mm. Yeah, okay, it's not there. Okay, so I just scripted out. So we have this attention event again with extended event also. So I just selected this attention event alone and I'm creating it. Now that we got this attention the extended event created i'll go ahead and start this okay now what we'll be doing we'll be simulating the same demo again let's see how it goes this time i'm calling this same um, data load application and my app now let's see if this is returning the output or not ideally it shouldn't because we know what we are doing right so let's wait for the timeout in that case yeah we got our timeout again and let me go back we'll see the live data what it has okay mm, we have a couple of events okay so this is the attention event which we are interested in and uh, you could see this is my query which got timed out and that is how you uh, track it with extended event okay so these are the two easy options or i wouldn't say option two options which uh, we are we have covered in this video so maybe in uh, future videos i'll show you like how you can do this with query store and uh, we will also be uh, you can also expect videos on different databases technologies and automation and all other stuff i hope you guys liked the video please uh, share your feedback and all your thoughts are welcome and if you want me to make a video on any specific topic please do put that in the comment section and you could you could also drop me an email about if you have any feedbacks or suggestions so that's it for today's video thank you bye